In this video, I'll be showing you how to use a builder's grid um, to kind of grid out your drawing that you want your drawing in. Um, I'm going to place that right in front of where I'm going to be drawing. And so you can see that that kind of maps out where everything goes. And it kind of chunks it up. Um, and then on my drawing board, you can see here, I have already laid this out so that it's pretty similar to what I have on the grid. And then I will just draw from section to section um, and replicate what's in there. So in this square right here, A1, um, I don't really have anything, so I'll go to B1, and then here I start seeing a line. Um, that is almost halfway between these two strings. And so on this sheet of paper, I'll go ahead and replicate that. So about close to a half, there's a line that goes all the way down. And that's where my corner is of the hallway and the restroom. And I'll just keep going through and adding um, pieces in there. Um, so in B2, I see that the line comes down just a tad, and then this corner piece comes in over there. Um, and I'll keep doing this until my entire picture comes together. Trying to make sure I get the angles right. So, so far that's what I have. Um, and I'll continue doing that until I see more um, of a complete work. And again, if I wanted to do more of an enlargement, I would make my grid here on this side um, larger instead of one inch by one inch. I would go maybe two inch by two inch. If I really wanted to draw it much bigger than four or five inches by five inches. So now I've sketched in most of this drawing. Um, I still have a little bit more to finish. Um, so I'm looking at B2 here, finishing up that corner. Um, and it pretty much goes almost right underneath this line. Um, so I'm going to move over to the left a little bit and draw that all the way down. So I'm getting that corner in. Just kind of some searching lines, trying to make that nice and straight. And I'll straighten this up a little bit more later. Um, and then we're looking at... Um, this right here, this uh, highlighted area right here, um, adding that to this portion. So that's just a little bit further, right there, not too far away. And when I'm done with this drawing, I will shade it in, compare different values, try and get that five level of values of really dark darks, middle darks, middle values, middle light values, and light values. And then, of course, texturing. Um, so let me kind of show you what this looks like right here. So um, pretty much drawing what I see in each of the gridded squares. 